After peaking in mid-1999 at 67.3%, the labor participation rate precipitously dropped after the economic turnaround started in 2009. For the last three years, however, it's been stuck. And according to data released in early November, it settled in October at 62.8%. Economists call the structural problem plaguing the labor force participation rate hysteresis. While hysteresis sounds like a really bad condition, it's not all that bad. Janet L. Yellen, chair of the Federal Reserve, in an October 14th speech, introduced the topic of hysteresis. In doing so, she inoculated markets, as well as her fellow members of the Federal Board of Governors, against the possibility that the U.S. Central Bank may want to keep low rates for longer than expected to try to cure hysteresis. Yellen has indicated she may maintain low rates for longer than expected to lure back into the labor force the growing segment of the U.S. population who are over 65 and who might like a job if one becomes available, as wages continue to improve. Though the minutes of the last Fed meeting indicated a Fed rate hike was likely in December, Dr. Yellen may be merely throwing a bone to the inflation hawks, putting fellow governors of the Fed, as well as the rest of us, on notice not to expect another rate hike until hysteresis is cured. Plan only for quarter-point rate hikes in the months ahead, and for interest rates to remain low for the long term.